called In a Garden. And this book will tell us there are different creatures in the garden. In a Garden, written by Tim McKenna, illustrated by Amy Sicuro. In a garden. In a garden on a hill, sparrows chirp and crickets trill. In the earth, a single seed sits beside a millipede. Worms and termites dig and toil, moving through the garden soil. Then at last, a tiny shoot ever slowly forms a root. First a seedling, then a sprout, pushing, bursting up and out. In a garden, day by day, newborn flowers find their way. Sunlight warms the morning air, dewdrops shimmer here and there. Earwigs scuttle, beetles scurry, roly polies scoot and worry. Sleepy slugs and garden snails leave behind their silver trails. Frantic teams of busy ants scramble up the stems of plants. In a garden, week by week, little creatures hunt and squeak. All the while a sprout is growing without anybody knowing. Buds emerge and leaves unfold, braving wind and heat and cold. Stretching, spreading, open wide, just the perfect place to hide. Underneath, it's safe and snug for a lonely ladybug. In a garden, showers fall, dainty drinks for one and all. Flower petals, bold and bright, blossom in the beaming light. Blooms of every shape and size call to bees and butterflies. Daisy, foxglove, tulip, plum, daffodil, chrysanthemum. So these are all the different kinds of flowers that we see in this garden here. Sips of nectar, warm and sweet, pollen clings to heads and feet. Round and round they buzz and flit, only pause to rest a bit. In a garden, bugs aglow, flashing, flying to and fro. Lace wings, gnats, mosquitoes, spiders, dragonflies, and water striders live among the cattail weeds, lily pads, and water weeds keeping hid from hungry eyes, using colors to disguise. Crafty bugs with clever tricks look like leaves or bark or sticks. In a garden full of green, many moments go unseen. Finding shelter in the shade, careful rows of eggs are laid. As a cool and gentle breeze, whispers through the tops of trees. Then a seed slips to the ground, sinking in without a sound. Time goes by and by. Life returns to start again. Always changing, never still, in a garden on a hill. And that's the end of our book here. And this page also talks about how a garden grows. So gardens are filled with a variety of life. Plants, bugs, birds, mice, snakes, and many other organisms come and go in a garden, garden's ecosystem. Throughout the season of a year, plants grow, flourish, die, and start the process over and over again. Thanks in part to the roles of living creatures, especially insects play in the garden. So when we talk about gardens, uh, we talk about plants and also all the other, uh, this amazing creatures that live together and help each other out. So that's what we learned in this book. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for listening.